Hello, 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 and welcome. This is gonna be fun. I got $75 worth of skincare and makeup from TJ Maxx. Basically what I'll be doing is introducing and testing all of these products. So I was telling you how much they cost versus how much they're worth. And we'll do a full price comparison at the end. Let's roll them out. Okay, we're gonna go in order of type of product, which means we're starting with cleansers. Um, first we have the Clinical Works Best Skin Facial Cleanser. It says it's infused with collagen and it helps to nourish and restore your skin. Gently hydrates. Also, this is 15 ounces. Oh, most of this stuff is hefty. Like, this is an insane amount of product. I couldn't find this online anywhere. Most of this stuff I was able to find and find like an actual sale price for it that wasn't discounted. I couldn't find this. This doesn't exist. Um, which makes me a little worried, but it's it's fine. Um, cute clip of me trying this. Hi. My tripod doesn't go high enough. I currently use this oil to milk cleanser by Coco Kind. Definitely <laughs> goes oil to milk. But oil-based cleansers always bother me. They don't always seem to like lift all the product, especially mascara, I've noticed. Here she is in all her beauty. Let's give this a shot. It's so goopy. Okay. I mean, it looks like it's removing my foundation. It's not stinging. That's great. I found a cleanser! Tell me if it removed my mascara. Are we good? I just have to say, wow. Like, sometimes when I use a new um, cleanser, my cheeks get really irritated. I have such red cheeks. They irritate my face so badly. This one doesn't. I can honestly recommend this. Run, run to TJ Maxx. Don't walk, run. You want this. This is gonna last me months. <laughs> okay. Next cleanser sort of thing that we have is this Next Bow Body Scrub Soft Touch Sea Salt. This is Korean. This was made in Korea and has Korean on it. And it says, pick it if you want a hydrating and exfoliating body scrub that removes waste and dead skin cells to brighten and soften skin tone. This is how much? Six and a half ounces which is decent and it smells like salt which is not a smell but if you know what i'm talking about you know what, what salt smells like so i'm gonna go try this too and i'm probably just gonna do it on my arm because i don't think you're supposed to put this on your face and i don't want to put this on my face so <sighs> all right we're gonna test this the only way i know how hair we're gonna test this the only way i know how no, um, we're gonna put mascara on my arm. We're gonna see if this takes it off. This is my mother's mascara. Don't tell her. It made my hairs black. Wait. Look, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Funny. Oh, she's thick. Oh my God. I can confidently say that this works. Okay. Smooth. Ooh, I feel so smooth. There's still some product on my hand. This feels exfoliating. Like this. Uh, another yes. Another product that I love. Again, this is so much product. This is wonderful. <laughs> Get this. Moving on to our next. I dropped it. Moving on to our next category, we have lotions and sort of like body creams and we have another clinical works which was the brand of the facial cleanser as well 
Um, and this is a soothing body lotion, scented with lavender and chamomile. I smelled this in the store because I went around smelling a bunch of lotions and they were... <clears throat> they were disgusting. This didn't smell bad. It kind of smells like body lotion. Well, you know like the like clean linen candles? Clean linen doesn't have a smell, but the clean linen candles do and you know it smells like clean linen. Same with the salt thing. Salt doesn't have a smell, but when you smell something that's salt scented, you know that's salt. It's like with the clean linens, you know it's clean linens. Anyway, this is what that smells like with like hint of lavender and chamomile. It kind of just smells like lotion. I'm not mad about it, it doesn't smell bad. The next sort of lotion body cream thing we have is this. And it's the How Late. I'm sorry, I butchered that. All Late. All Lay. I'm not French. I don't speak French. No. This is actually Scottish, not French. <laughs> it's made in Scotland. It's, um, the brand is the Scottish Fine Soaps Company. All Late Body Butter is an indulgent blend of skin loving ingredients such as organic milk, creamy coconut butter, and glycerin. After use, skin will be soft, smooth, and fragranced. That was kind of, that was kind of Irish, not Scottish. It says it's like fragranced. Kind of smells like DIY slime. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like milk or something, but it just smells kind of like glue. This seems like a really like, oh my God, it's thick. I could spank that. I'm not going to. I could if I wanted to. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison on the skin of these two lotions. Maybe I will spank it. <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad I did that. This is living up to its name. This is butter consistency. Ooh, I prefer this to the other one. I don't know if like you've experienced this, but sometimes body lotion can like make your skin feel like dry, but like oh, moisturize dry, it just feels tighter, which is what this one does. But this body butter like does feel like it hydrated my skin. You can even tell this, the lotion one made my skin red this body butter did not. I don't actually know if you can see that, but I can. And I can confidently say that this is not, this is not a yes, but this one is. Because it's Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> the next category is serums. And I got one, two, three, four serum-y kind of things. Um, I am so frightened to put these on my face because, as you can see, I am breaking out right now. This is hormonal acne. I just finished my period. Um, I have been avoiding putting product on my forehead. So putting these serums on is going to be a very careful process because I, I'm not going to put them on my forehead. They're probably going to make me break out anyway and I don't want to make these worse. Starting off with another thing that I could not find on the internet anywhere. This doesn't exist. This only exists in the land of TJ Maxx. Um, but she's cute and I'm really excited because it's really cool looking. Um, it is a retinol night serum by Spa Life. It has little beads in it. Where, how do I open this? Got it. doesn't smell like anything. That's good. That's a good sign. Oh my god, the beads. Oh, this is so exciting. Ooh. Pretty liquidy. Let's try it. Makeup gone. Okay. These beads. Oh my god, the beads. I love the beads. I need to get beads. I don't know what these are actually supposed to do. 
don't want the beads. <laughs> I, I'm not going to put them on my forehead. Oh my god. I said I was going to avoid... We're going to pretend that didn't happen. And I'm going to forget about it. Because otherwise it's going to drive me insane. I didn't take my meds today. Well. I have nothing bad to say. Feels hydrating. It's wet. Which is a thing that it does. No irritation. Immediately. Not bad. I'm also going to be washing my face after each thing that I put on it because I don't want these to mingle on my skin. That sounds like a really bad idea. I will be trying each of them for like a few days regularly, one at a time, to see if I break out and also to see if they have any benefits because some of these might be a little useful. You never know. I will be posting updates for each product um, on my TikTok, so watch this. Introducing another product that doesn't exist on the internet. And it's really hard not to exist on the internet. This is the Bella Beauty 24 karat gold and retinol firming face serum. There is actual gold in this. The last ingredient on the ingredients list is gold. It is the last ingredient, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, ooh, it's a little sweet. She's thick. She's goopy. Okay. Hi, right, goopy girl. Let's goop it. Let's goop it. Goop it real good. <laughs> there is no gold. I'm I'm mad that there is no gold. I wanted there to be gold spots on my face. I put too much of this on. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think my skin likes this very much. There might be some mild irritation happening. My skin is flaring up a little bit. <laughs> We'll see. Nothing bad in the moment, but I feel like long term, this is not something I want to put on my face. I couldn't resist. This is snail mucin. Um, I'm sure everyone at this point has heard of the Cosrx, Cosrx like snail mucin cream. She is expensive, and this was three ninety nine. Could have been four ninety nine. Can't resist a little, a little cheap. Find a little dupe. This is by Glam Fox. I love the bottle. She looks expensive. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm excited to try this. It just gooped. <gasps> Wait, this actually might be really good. I am excited for this. Ooh, let's try it. I just, I need to see if. It Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so with the Cosrx serum, I've seen that like you rub it with your hands and then it like goops apart. <gasps> Wait, it goops. Oh, it's smooth. I like this. I can't even tell you if it does anything, but I like it. Oh my god, and I can tell it's hydrating. The other one's just kind of like dried up and left my skin sticky, but this is. I like this. I will use this. I'm gonna. I'm. I found a good one! Yay! I'm happy about this. Sweet. <laughs> okay, this is the last serum. And it is a hyaluronic and salicylic... Sal hyaluronic and salicylic... Oh my god. Hyaluronic and salicylic acid. Facial moisturizer. So it's not technically a serum, but it sort of falls in that category. I don't know if you know, but salicylic acid is really great for treating acne and preventing breakouts. Um, and as long as this is legit, it will help my acne. And any future acne. <laughs> I am... Ooh, the label's a little wonky. That's fine. She... Ooh! Again, no smell. I'm surprised none of this is super scented. I was expecting 
some really strong, strong scents. This kind of just smells like nothing. I wonder what this is going to do to my face. We'll see. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Okay, this definitely feels more like a moisturizer. It's smooth. It's hydrating. Glass skin who? Oh, look at her shine. I love this. This is actually lovely. Wow. <sighs> Not bad. <laughs> okay, that is it for serums and the one odd moisturizer. Um, moving on to actual makeup products, not skincare. I'm so excited <laughs> because look at this palette that I got. Look at this. And it was so cheap. It's called Tea Time Fantasy and it's by Amorus, made in the USA. It has 32 shades and they're all named after tea. And it makes me, I just, I really want to try this. I'm like the product that I'm looking forward to most out of everything. Oh my God. She's so cute. <laughs> Smells a little funky, but that's okay. Oh, the glitter shades. I'm a sucker for a good like thick glitter. Not like the product's thick, but the glitter itself is like chunky. So cute. Uh, oh, this is gonna be fun. I'll swatch all of these too, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that later. I can't wait. Okay, the second and only other palette that I got is this like nude palette. And it's by Nicole Miller. Some of these have kind of odd packaging. Like this comes up, but this part's covered in plastic and it doesn't easily come off. So let me open this really quick. Okay, here she is. These are lovely nudes. My nudes are lovely as well. Um, just ask my boyfriend. But these don't have names, which is fine. I do love when my eyeshadow palettes are named. I have one right now and it's all like men's names. I use Oliver daily. <laughs> um, let's swatch these as well. And then we'll get back to it. Okay, we're down to the last three products and they're still in the makeup-y realm. Um, I got a mascara, and the brand is Billion Dollar Beauty, and this was <laughs> not a billion dollars. Forever Lash, black. Of course it's black, it's mascara. <laughs> this smells funky. Once I take off my makeup, I will actually test this out because I don't know about this one. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's my new face. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. As promised, makeup is gone. Mascara is going on. Oh, hold the phone. Wait. Okay, I wasn't sure about her, but, like, that is lengthening. Wait, let's put this next to, like, my current mascara. This is what I have currently. Um, it's almost gone. Shut up. Shut up. Look at the difference in my eyes right now and tell me that is not amazing. I'm throwing this out. <laughs> I got <laughs> this pack of two eyeliner pens. Two. Hold on. Oh my God. Um, my favorite eyeliner pen just ran out yesterday. It made me very sad. I needed a new, I need, I need an anemone. I needed an, I needed a new one. So I got a new two. <laughs> That looks like a marker. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> uh oh. 
<laughs> let's let's do our eyeliner really quick. We'll see how this works. <laughs> I need to show you this because it's so bad. This is literally my dried up eyeliner pen and look at the difference. We finally have a product that is going in the trash. This is disgusting. <laughs> okay, we finally got there. We finally got the last product. This is setting spray. This is eight fluid ounces of setting spray. When I tell you I've never seen a setting spray this big before, this hefty, this Gigamentaurus, this is by Ellen Tracy, which actually turns out to be a decent brand. Um, I just couldn't find this product, which I feel like has been the theme. The smell, again, isn't bad. It kind of just smells like hand soap, which is a little concerning, but I'm not mad. It says day and night. Professional coverage. I was able to find some reviews for this, and some people say they use it as a primer and then also as a setting spray. All right, that is the end of the video. We tried everything. Total price will be right here. And then the total cost, not at TJ Maxx of all this, will be right here. So the total savings for everything I bought was crazy, right? I think I'll be shopping at TJ Maxx more often. She wasn't bad. She, she turned up. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. I do kind of have one in the works. I ordered some products from a certain online store and will be doing a full review video when I get those. Pretty excited for that. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you want more beauty videos. I think I'll be doing like an everyday skincare and makeup routine and just talking because when I talk to a camera, it's not as crazy as when I talk to myself. I feel validated, and that's important. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, more content, more for me just f***ing off in front of a camera. You make my dreams reality. So, thank you. Catch you later.